Hey, welcome back to the Haas Online Training Series. In this session, we're going to take a quick look at the Scalper Bot, one of our entry-level bots. So let's jump right into it. As with anything else, first we need to log into the Haas Online software. Now, it's important to note, the Scalper Bot is a very basic bot, and it really works well in a sideways market, meaning that the price kind of fluctuates between the same price range. So, you know, between, let's say, if the coin is between 100 to 200 stat, things like that. So you want to make sure that you do not put this in a trendy market or a market that's moving up or down, as your bot will either get stuck or left behind, depending on which direction it is. So the first thing you want to do, which I did um, on the side here, is go over to the left and click Custom Bots. Then under here, you're going to go ahead and click this plus sign, and then you're going to leave it on Scalper Bot. If it isn't on Scalper Bot, just go ahead and click here. Scroll down until you see Scalper Bot, click it. And then let's just give this a name. We'll just call this Scalper. And give it the account, as with every other bot, and a market. So we're going to just use ADA because it's there. And let's hit the Add Bot. So once the bot's added, you'll see it's added here. And once you click it, you'll have a few options. Now, obviously, we have the bot name, the account it's attached to, and the markets attached to. The next part's very important, the coin position. Now, the coin position dictates which position are we in. Are we in a bot or sold state? So, for example, if we have ADA, then we want to leave this coin position as ADA. If we don't have any and we're trading in the BTC market, we want to switch this to BTC or the sold position. So, we're going to leave it in BTC as we want to acquire ADA, and then we're going to get a trade amount. Now, this trade amount highly depends on how much you're trying to use. It's important to note that the scalper bot actually does not or is not intended for large amounts. We think about smaller trades happening more fre frequently. Uh, rule of thumb is if you look at the average market or the average order on the market, maybe half it or one third it, and that's a good scalping amount. So we're just going to set this. I'm just going to say 10. Now, obviously, this is rather low, but for this um, for this tutorial, it'll work well. So the next thing is your template, your order template. Now, by default, there is only the limit order. However, if you create a new order template, you can set this to market, never expire, so on and so forth. Really, that's up to you. But for my purposes, limit is more than fine. The next thing you need to set is the fee amount. Now, the scalper bot um, has a overcome fee insurance. So if you're familiar with our insurances. Um, but basically what this states is how much above our fee do we need to be in order to close for a profit and the scalper bot generally tends to try to do that so whatever your fee is for the given exchange so for example bitrix 0.25 um, or binance if you're using bnb so on and so forth so we'll just leave it to default for now and the t the next thing we'll have is our target percentage so this is how much of a percentage movement from our from our current position we want to buy and or sell so you might be wondering, okay, so what is the base price for the scalper bot? The base price for the scalper bot is whatever the current market price is for when you start the bot. So if the ADA is worth, let's say, 500 units, um, and you set this to 2%, then from it'll wait for the price to drop 2% from the 500 to buy, and then it'll wait for the price to move above 2% on the 500 to sell. And it's a fixed amount. The scalper bot does not follow the history or does not follow the market. So you need to make sure that the price or the target percentage you set and when you start the bots at the right time. The next thing you have is the safety threshold. Now, the safety threshold is how much risk you want. So think about it as a stop loss. And the idea is, is that you set this to the percentage that you're willing to risk before the bot sells its position. So, for example, if I set this to 5%, that means that I'm willing to lose 5% on my position before I stop loss out. If I set this to 98%, that means I'm willing to lose 98% from my buy spot before we stop loss out. Now, I know the default's 99, but just keep that in mind when you set the safety threshold that it is your, your stop loss. And that's really it. The Scalper Bot's very simple. It's one of our entry-level bots. It works really well in a sideways market. And generally, the idea is you would have a lot of these all trading small amounts on different percentage spreads, and then you can benefit from a large sideways market movement. So hopefully that was useful for those who are having a quick question on how the Scalper Bot works. And like all our other bots, it's back testable. You can use that as well as run in simulation. 
make sure to com if you have any questions make sure to comment below and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this until next time